Hello everybody, this video tutorial is going to show you how we can use this adapter to bypass the problem where you've tried to unlock your phone more than 10 times incorrectly and now it's locked to the original network. So what I'm going to demonstrate is how this phone is locked to Vodafone in this example and we're using a GIFGAF SIM. When the phone turns on it's going to ask us for a unlock code and we're going to see that it has zero tries left. So we're just going to wait for the phone to boot up. I will be probably fast forwarding this bit here to make the video shorter. So here we have it just finishing the reboot and it's asking us to unlock the phone. Now it's doing this because it's locked to Vodafone and it thinks it can be unlocked. But when we go into the unlock screen and answer yes to that question we see that it has uh, zero tries left. And no matter what code you type in incorrect or correct it will not even give you a code error it will just say uh, nothing and print invalid SIM card there uh, at the top showing us that it's um, not accepting the SIM card. So what do we do? We use an adapter. So I'm just taking out this SIM card because we're going to put it in there. And I'll show you the adapter now. It's wafer thin and it has a tiny chip on it that's as thick as a SIM card. So there it is. And this goes sandwiched between your phone and the SIM card. If I show you an original card, you see where it has the notch and you can see how uh, the little bulge of the chip that it has. So if you take it where the notch is and line it up, you'll see where you'll want to remove a bit of your SIM card uh, so that it doesn't um, lean against it like that when it gets put in there. To do this I measured up just by screwing in the card down and looking at the card and saying look I need to stay clear away from those pins so I need to start chopping in this case after this green box and then I lined it up again and moved it across and found the bounding area for I would say again the green line a little bit below that to avoid those pins so I would take a cut from here all the way across there I used a Stanley knife and this is the end results now it's actually quite far away from the actual SIM card so you're really not damaging the card you are destroying your serial number so you want might to take a picture of it if, um, if you ever want to keep it safe and should you need it in the future and now when I line the cards up I can see that it has uh, space for the SIM in the SIM, the chip in the SIM. So it has a small adhesive strip down the side. I'm not going to use that right now and I'm just going to line up the card and f hold it firmly and attempt to slot it in. Now the key rule is if it's not doing it and you're forcing something then don't proceed sometimes I find putting the slim card adapter in first and then just there you go manage to grab a little bit of grip obviously when it's going to come out the other side it's going to push against the base of the phone we just need to make sure we're not uh, crumbling it and there it is sliding on top again gentle is the key and it's not exactly perfect so now the tricky bit is I use a point of a Stanley knife should I want to whoops, pull the sim out because it becomes a little bit tight right so to grab it better we do that to it I'm just going to try that again this time I'm trying to get a get the hold back on the SIM card a little bit there you go perfect 
perfect. There you go. So we've inserted the adapter in between the SIM card and it really isn't bulging out at all, really. And as much as it's now more of a snug fit, it's definitely not um, busting at the seams or anything like that. So we now put the battery back in. And once again, I'll probably fast forward this bit whilst we wait for the phone to boot up. Okay, here we have the phone reaching the end of its uh, boot up sequence. And there you go automatically at the top you can see that it's registered itself on the O2 UK slash gifgaf network and has established a strong signal using edge so I'll do a quick uh, I guess that's ready I'll do a quick test call and I'll put it on okay. speaker. Time brought to you by O2 will be 3, 16 and 10 seconds. There you go. So this phone you saw was locked and was um, requesting a unlock code. And not only that, you're in a pickle if you've reached zero because obviously um, you have no more attempts left to unlock the phone. So it's a fantastic solution to the problem. Uh, if you want to buy it, just uh, check out the link on the description below the video and it will take you straight to it. We distribute worldwide. This particular test is on a 8520. As we do more video tests, we'll be posting them online. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little solution.